Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we are going to be working on another fundamental scroll. This one will be the fishtail scroll. So to start the scroll off, we're going to upset a little bit of material on the end. This will also help square up the bar if there was any sort of rag from any off cuts that we may have done previously to this if you're not starting from a brand new piece of bar stock. I'm just going to get a little bit of an upset there. And then we're also going to go over to the vise. Now, the vise is my preferred method for upsetting material, as it's a heck of a lot easier on the wrists. So I highly suggest that you go to the vise as well. Now, the amount that you upset is completely dependent on how wide of a fishtail you would like. That is completely a stylistic and creative choice up to you completely. The more material you upset, the wider of a fishtail you can get if you spread it thinner, or the chunkier the fishtail scroll you can have, uh, you know, if you spread it less thin out to actually spread that out into a fishtail. So we're gonna get that all squared up, and then we're gonna just use some full face hammer blows to start getting that shape, start fanning out, flip it over to the cross pin, and we're going to start spanning that spreading of that material to the left and to the right of center. Now you'll see several hammer changes as I go along where I'll flip it over to the flat side of the hammer face or the large face of the hammer. And you'll see me work various edges with the cross peen as well. Really what we're trying to do is we're trying to push the material into a nice fan tail. Now once things get this dark on the scroll, really what I'm doing here is just planishing up the surface. The secret to a good looking fishtail scroll is not only even spreading to the left and right of the center line of the parent bar material, but also a really nice clean presence. So taking time to dress everything on this, so this way you have really nice smooth clean lines is going to be kind of critical to getting a really nice looking fishtail. As you see, I'm trying to adjust those curvatures by hammering over the horn. And there you have it. So I'm just kind of cleaning those up. And I might do that for a few heats and then might do a planishing heat or two to get this really where I would like it. So the next step in this process, we're going to go ahead and start scrolling this up by sticking a little bit of material out, hammering it back to ourselves, and then down on itself. Now during this process, it's a little hard to see, I will work the corners of that fishtail, not just the center because we want to provide a little bit of an arc to that fishtail. It gives it a little bit more of a pleasing look and more natural look. So I'll get another heat on this. Now if you were using a scroll form or scroll jig, this would be the time that you would go ahead and insert it in that jig and then pull it around the scroll form or scroll jig if you will. Uh, since we're not doing that, and we're assuming that you don't have a scroll jig or scroll form in your home shop, we're just going to simply go ahead and form it by hand. Now, I will say this, that if you do have a job where you need to make, say, a bunch of little scrolly bits for a sign bracket, it is really handy to just go ahead and make some jigs. Once you know how to form a scroll by hand to where you can make a scroll jig accurately and adequately, that's where this will come really in handy. You can really whip out a bunch of scrolls. And at that point, it's mainly just forging the finials on the end of the bar, getting it started, you know, getting the scroll started, and then just pulling it around the form to your own heart's content and leisure. Scroll making can really be a really fun process and can add a lot to your ironwork for not really that much effort when it comes to blacksmithing. So now instead of forging, we're forming. So we're actually forming this scroll to shape, taking time to constantly check, like I just did there, the sizes and how it's looking and how that spiral's progressing, making the corrections we need to, and trying to avoid any sort of little sharps or flat spots on the piece. 
as you can see, that's kind of a really pleasing looking scroll, if I do say so myself. Again, just tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap. If you hit it too much in one area, you'll straighten that area. If you hit a curve that's unsupported and and you hit that area too much, you'll actually straighten that area, that bend out a little bit. And that's not what you want. So always keep the hammer and the scroll moving uh, to get a really nice smooth arc. So like always, we're going to go ahead and cut this material off. Take big steps to get that all nubbed off there. I'm cutting to center, but of course you can just cut to each side, to the left and right. You don't have to necessarily cut to center. I was doing this to save time for every heat in order to show the next demonstration on making scrolls, but certainly you don't have to do this. And so that really is a, basically about it. We will adjust, we'll probably uh, you know, straighten the old piece of bar stock. We'll get the other one adjusted where we cut the thing off and clean it up and add it to our example ring. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If I've earned your subscription, please subscribe down below. And as always, if you'd like to support our channel and what we do here, Christ Center Ironworks, you can check out our website over at blacksmithpdfs.com. As always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.